dear children, welcome to the world of numbers. Now itself you understood what I am going to teach, isn't it? Here, I am going to teach you the first chapter of class 7 and the name of the chapter is Indiges. We have studied about Indiges in class 6, isn't it? Here, we study more about Indiges. So dear students, before saying about indices, let us recall what are natural numbers and whole numbers. What are natural numbers? The numbers that we start counting from 1 onwards are called natural numbers. Or other ways, we can say all the positive numbers that we start counting from 1 are called natural numbers. Then what are whole numbers? When these natural numbers are along with zero, we call them as whole numbers. Remember, in natural numbers, zero is not there and in whole numbers, zero is included. Now let's look what are integers. Integers are the collection of positive numbers, zero and negative numbers. Otherwise, we can say integers are the collection of whole numbers and negative numbers. Have you seen these negative numbers anywhere? Yes, we have seen these negative numbers in representing the temperature in very cold places and also these negative numbers are used to represent the distance below sea level. We have learned about fractions and decimals also in class 6, isn't it? These fractions and decimals are not included in this set of integers. Again, we can look how can we represent integers on a number line. How sh should we draw a number line? We have studied it in class 6. First, we must draw a line, then mark 0, right side of the 0, it is positive numbers and left side of the 0, it is negative numbers. Come, let us draw number line. This is how we draw a number line. Now let's look how can we represent integers on this number line. So if you are asked to represent the positive integer 5 on a number line, to which side of the zero we should move? We have studied the positive integers are on the right side. So to represent positive 5 on a number line, move to the right side and look where is the positive integer 5? Here it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is the positive integer 5. So we have represented this positive integer on a number line. Now if you are to represent a negative integer that is say negative 4 with to which side we want to move we should move to the left side of the zero look negative 4 negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 negative 4 is here so mark the number here negative 4 again if positive 3 you want to mark move to the right side of the zero positive 3 if you want to mark negative 1, move to the left, left side of the 0, negative 1. So look, right side of the 0, it is positive integers and left side of the 0, it is negative integers. Now are you thinking, then what is the sign of this 0? Oh, this poor 0 does not have any sign. This 0 is neither positive nor negative. So 0 does not have any sign. Right of 0, positive integers and left of 0, negative integers. Hope all of you understood how to represent integers on a number line. Now let's move to the next topic that is addition of integers. Addition of integers. There are some rules 
for adding two integers. That is, if two integers are of the same sign, either positive or negative. Let the two integers be positive or the two integers be negative. Nothing is there. Just add these two integers and put the same sign. What is the rule? If the two integers are of the same sign, we should add the integers and put the same sign. Now let's look if these two integers are of different sign. That is, if one is positive and the other is negative. What is the rule? This also we have studied in class 6. We should subtract the smaller number from the bigger number and put the sign of the bigger number. Once again, we should subtract the smaller number from the bigger number and put the sign of the bigger number. So this is the rule for addition of integers. So let's do some examples of addition of integers. So first we can add two integers of the same sign. Positive 9 plus positive 3. Look, both are of the same sign. So what was the rule? Add them and put the same sign. So nothing is here. Just add 9 and 3 and put the positive sign. The answer is positive 12. Again, we can take two integers of negative sign. Negative 5 plus negative 2. What is the answer? Add 5 and 2. 5 plus 2 is 7. And what is the sign of the both integers? Negative. So the answer is negative 7. So if the integers are of the same sign, add them and put the same sign. Next, we can do the example having different sign. Take your different sign or uh, integers. Negative 10 plus 2. Look here. Here 10 is negative and 2 is positive. Different sign. So what was the rule? Subtract the smaller number from the bigger number. So here the smaller number is 2 and the bigger number is 10. So subtract 2 from 10. What is 10 minus 2? 10 minus 2 is 8. And here the sign of the bigger number is negative. So the answer is negative 8. Again, one more example. 5 plus negative 15. Look, 5 is positive, 15 is negative. So different sign, subtract the smaller number from the bigger number. 15 minus 5, what's the answer? It is 10. So first, subtract 15 and 5 and put the sign of the bigger number. Bigger number is 15 here. So put the sign of the bigger number, it is negative. So the answer is negative 10. So this is the addition rule of integers. Now let's look what is a subtraction rule of integers? Subtraction rule is this, this. Just add the additive inverse of the number that is to be subtracted from the other. Just add the additive inverse of the number that is to be subtracted from the other. Now are you thinking what is this additive inverse? The additive inverse of a positive number is a negative number. And the additive inverse of a negative number is a positive number. For example, the additive inverse of positive 10 is negative 10. And the additive inverse of negative 15 is positive 15. And also, if we add the number and its additive inverse, have you noticed what answer we are getting? Come, let's go. Here, 
we are going to add a number and its additive inverse. Negative 5 plus 5, 10 plus negative 10 and negative 100 plus 100. So look what the answer we are getting. Both are different integers. So 5 minus 5, the answer is 0. Here also 10 plus negative 10, the answer is 0. Here also negative 100 plus 100, the answer is 0. So we have seen a number and its additive inverse. If we add it, the answer we are getting is 0. We can check for other examples. And look, as we are getting the answer here as 0, there is a special name for this 0. So what is a special name for 0? It is the additive identity of integers. We can move back to the subtraction of integers. Come, let us look some examples. So here are some questions of subtraction of integers. So what was the rule? Add the additive inverse of the number that is to be subtracted. So here the number to be subtracted is 5. So use the rule here negative 20 and the additive inverse of positive 5. What is the additive inverse of positive 5? Negative 5. So look. Now the rule that we have studied for addition came here. Here it is negative and here also negative. Both are of the same sign. Same sign adding of integers. What rule we study? Just add them and put the same sign. Add 20 and 5. 20 plus 5 is 25. And here the sign is negative. Add the numbers and put the same sign. Next, look this question. Negative 10 minus negative 4. So here the number to be subtracted is negative 4. So use the rule here. First number, same itself. This negative you must add. Add the additive inverse of negative 4 is what? Positive 4. Here look, now it is negative 10 plus 4. Both are of different sign. Different sign, what is the rule? We should subtract the smaller number from the bigger number. Here the smaller number is 4. Subtract 4 from 10 it is 6. So 10 minus 4 is 6 and put the sign of the bigger number. Bigger number is 10. Sign of the bigger number is negative. So our answer is negative 6. So look at this question. 100 minus, minus 3. So first number 100. Add the additive inverse of negative 3. What is additive inverse of negative 3? Additive inverse of negative 3 is positive 3. Look, 100 plus positive 3. The answer is 103. So again, come to this question. 75 minus 70. First number, 75. Add the additive inverse of the number that is to be subtracted. Here we want to subtract 70. Additive inverse of 70, that is positive 70, is what? Negative 70. 75 plus negative 70. The answer is, one is positive, other is negative. Just subtract it and put the sign of the bigger number. 75 minus 70, it is 5. And the sign of the bigger number is positive. So the answer is positive 5. So this is how we do subtraction of integers. So dear students, it is time to wind up today's class. Today we have discussed about natural numbers, whole numbers, integers, how to represent integers on a number line and addition and subtraction rule of integers. So you can, there is an assignment for you. Take some examples and Add and subtract those integers and bring it on the next class. Till then, take care and be safe at home. Thank you.